is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Spiegel Mom Scraps, where I am using one of the June collections, which is Frolic Along, and it actually matches the Fernwood collection from Vicki Booten. So I am going to show you guys essentially how to add sequins to a 12 or a to a um, double page spread. I will link this up here down below or up here and then link it down below so that you can see it. It is um, serendipity sketch number 161 out of scrapbook.com. Um, it has got one, two, three, four, five, six photos and I pretty much have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are some of the years, um, it's like one of the last year or so, two years, left of Josh and I being in the military, in a sense of Josh being the sponsor. If you don't know, I am the spouse. However, we had a really close-knit um, company that when we got stationed back, well, when Josh got stationed back, he got attached to the Alpha Company. And they wanted to change out some stuff. So I volunteered to make a, a mirror that had their Alpha Company and it's their logo. And then they wanted it on the door as you came in. And so that is what is in this photo. I know you can't really see it, but I've got photos of me working on it. This one is me getting this one ready to go. And then these here are, the, like I guess, the process of making sure that we could get this on because our window, it's a crazy window and whatnot. And it is still up till this day. Um, so I am going to show you guys the process of this. So let's see what I can do. Okay, so what I do is, is this is my trick. I take some tape and I tape the two pages together so that I can make it work. So as I start out, as you can tell up top, I know that this piece is hanging over quite a bit but the with a two-page spread it's hard to show the lay the sketch and it's like not taking up some time but what i am working on is is that they've got two papers that are the same that run on both sides then it's got another piece of paper that runs on the bottom another two pieces and then the rest are like photos so i am using this is the first time i think this maybe be maybe be my second time I think that I've used this collection. So there are times that um, one of my other scrappy friends that um, we come together and we order collections together and we split them. And so that's what one of these is is a split. While I love Vicky Booten, I love all of her stuff. I would have tons and tons of it if I wanted to, but I definitely need to make sure that, um, like sometimes I just need to have half of it, right? So what I'm doing here is, is that I'm making my banners and I'm going through all of it. So I split the paper packs with my um, crafty friends so that's half of the 12 by 12 and half of the six by eight. So I don't have double pages and I really like how this works out I was trying to see if I had this paper and I don't so what I do is is that as you can see running across the banner goes across the two page spread so what you do is is that you run a full 12 by 12 and then you cut the same and you cut a chunk so I run this all the way through because I um, do do an edging on my um uh, layout I still do the edging and you'll see me come in with my white um, gel pen and my black gel pen so I bud these two up that when it goes into my album you can see that this is supposed to run as a two-page spread and then that's pretty much the paper I do I really truly don't add much more I think the only part that I add the most to is adding one little bit of paper to the back of my photos and then that's it. So here, this is where I am doing up my yellow gel pen or my white gel pen, sorry. And I'm edging my edges because you guys know that I love my edges. And then I turned off the camera, did my black and now I'm back. And then I did the white gel pen on the two banners that you see up there in the upper 
um, right hand corner and then I use the same paper for all of these photos and I do place them and I try to keep them very um, uniform as much as I can. I really love this. I don't mind that they're not in order because you can go through it and see exactly what I'm doing. I really love how um, it uh, turned out. And then I work on the other side, the other, the other side of it. And that one is, I know that in the sketch it has it going um, vertical, but I need it horizontal because the bigger photo that I wanted is this one to where it shows exactly what I'm working on. And then I, I, I don't struggle with the title. I'm trying to get the placement to what I feel is right. So I want to call this Remember to Document Stories. So then I got it. So then I write the word remember down and then to document stories. Because this is a story. It's like one of those things where it doesn't always come up. And when it comes to the military, it's... If, if you know anything about it, and if you don't, I'm going to give you a little bit of a quick synopsis. We have a saying that is, hurry up and wait. You hurry up on everything so that you can wait. And that's exactly what the military is, especially for the Army. And these things here, we do a lot as senior enlisted spouses. We do a lot that a lot of people don't understand that we do. And we, get, we don't get credit we typically go in and we do it and it's you do it because your spouse is senior enlisted your sponsor is senior enlisted which is your spouse and that is exactly what we do and that is where things like this only happens if you know what you're doing and so i work with graphics all the time i i went out and i got the two um i got, I got everything set up i got the mirror set up and I got the window cling set up and I went in and we did it. Now, I do have another um, first sergeant, um, Westbrook is right there. And she, her and I are working on getting this end result, which is them able to take this mirror with their graphic if they, if they move. Because the installation loves to move their units around. And so this one here, as as hands down they can be able to take it with them because the other one will stay on the mirror or on the window to the door as they come in and it will probably get taken out where this can follow them with so i am now to the sequence and i decided that i am going to do all of these little spots of sequence colors to match up where it's at and then i am going to do a ton of like little three dots so that is what you're going to see me do i love the little bits that I have and I love the three dots and I color tone the three dots to make it so that you could see it and then at the very end I do add my black splatters because I have yet to add mixed media to this layout I had it all sitting out and then I put it away because I decided you know what this is gonna call for non mixed media and and you know and go and kind of you know achieve the look without it and I achieved the look very well. Make sure that you go check out um, Spiegel Mom Scraps. Put Miranda15 in the discount code area and get 15% off your order. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you. Um, and this is an amazing, not the last, but the last design team layout for the month of June for Spiegel Mom Scraps. But this is not going to be the last time that I use this collection I think all of month I have really focused on that one I really did and I didn't realize I did until I got done realizing that this is the one I've been using a lot but I love it and it's I cannot wait to keep using it so here are the splatters the still shots are coming up I hope that you guys are all staying safe have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon bye